Hey friends, did you know that we're halfway through <laughs> this thing? I didn't, I can't believe it. I truly cannot believe that has flown by. And I am so proud of you for showing up with me, for showing up for yourself. We have a super fun um, series today. It could be a little bit challenging. So as always, just take it step by step and make it work for you. Um, but we're going to be low to the ground. It starts off in tabletop. So if you have a mat to work on, awesome. Or just find yourself a comfy spot. Okay, we are starting from our table. So go ahead and find your nice alignment here. So basically, rather than worrying about the shape, just make sure that your wrists are about underneath shoulders, knees are about underneath hips. Awesome. We're just going to do a quick little spinal flexion here just to warm up. So inhale, roll your shoulders back and down. Look forward. Exhale, round through the spine, tuck chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, so drop the belly, look forward. Exhale, pull belly up towards spine, chin to chest. Awesome. So we're just going to take this step by step. This is a little variation on what's known as gate pose. It's a beautiful, beautiful stretch, especially um, another kind of lengthening one for the side body. Great stretch for the hips and back. So we're going to start pressing evenly out of both palms, lifting right foot up, and then we're going to bring it forward. Step right foot on the outside of right hand as we come into a low lunge. Now you can go ahead and walk your left knee back a little bit. Give yourself a little bit of room here in this low lunge. Maybe we rock forward and back, just warming up a little. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and swing left foot over towards the right side of the mat. So you can peek at me to see what I mean here because that seems kind of strange, but swinging left foot to meet the right edge of the mat. And then we're going to let our hands come over towards the left. We're going to walk them forward all the way over to the left side of the mat. So just to kind of find a little bit of alignment here, left hand is kind of going to be in line with left knee. You can kick right foot out a little bit more now. Right toes are going to be facing the top edge of the mat over towards the right. Now, this is right away a big stretch for that inner right thigh. We're going to bring right hand down by left hand, and then we're going to pull it back across our body like we're pulling back a bow and arrow. Reach right hand up towards the sky. Let your eyes follow this beautiful, beautiful extension, pressing out of right foot. So we've got this gorgeous line going down the right side body. And in fact, let's bring that line a little further by bringing right arm up overhead. So we've got a little bit of an arch here. Try it rather than like if we're collapsing a little bit in the shoulder. Sorry, my necklace is attacking microphone. Try to open up in that shoulder, opening up through the chest. So this beautiful line from right hand down to right foot. Let your neck kind of follow this natural curve of your spine. Big breath in. Exhale, release that. We're going to come out of it the way that we came in. So we're just going to walk our hands through center. And then we're going to swing that left foot back into alignment, back into our low lunge. Stepping right foot back into our tabletop. And then we can go ahead and repeat on the other side. I'm going to twirl around here so that I can show you from this side. So we're going to go ahead and start in that tabletop, pressing evenly out of both palms. We're going to lift left leg back behind us and then step it through left foot to the outside of left hand. You can walk your right knee back a little bit as we come into this low lunge. And you might rock forward and back, just warming up a little. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and take right foot, swing it over to the left side, back edge of the mat. And then walk your hands 
through center. It might not be the left edge for you because I did turn around. But you know what I mean. You're going to swing your foot over to the opposite edge. I apologize for that. And then we're going to go ahead and find that general alignment. So right hand now will be in line with right knee. We're just repeating this on the other side. We're going to extend that left leg out just until that feels comfortable. You feel this nice big stretch starting. And then we'll go ahead and take left arm across like a bow and arrow. Reach left hand up towards the sky. Let your eyes follow. Big breath in as you reach up. Strong foundation for what is touching the ground. That right hand, right knee, left foot really pressing out. And then we can bring this over into this beautiful line from left hand all the way down to left toes. Big breath in and out here. You're doing amazing. And then go ahead and bring that hand down. We're gonna walk hands back through center. Bring everything nice and easy back into that low lunge. And then go ahead and bring it back into tabletop. Amazing job. That one can be a little bit tricky. You did awesome. We're going to go ahead and from tabletop, we're going to curl our toes under. And we're just going to take a little second here to walk hands up. Thighs, we're going to sit back on our toes. So knees are on the floor. Just going to take this little moment for a little toe stretch here. One of those things where a little goes a long way. You can also do a little mini uh, wrist tear here. You can go ahead and bring your arms out um, and face your hands forward like you're saying stop and then drop your hands down. A little bit of wrist care. Rotate your wrist one way and then the other. And then you can go ahead and drop that, come back into a tabletop and we're just going to bring knees as wide as the mat, two big toes to touch and sit back on your heels, reaching your hands forward. We're going to come bring our forehead down to the floor. So we're going to use our last couple minutes together for a nice little restorative movement. So if you'd like a break off of the shoulders, you can bend at the elbows. Stack your hands like a pillow underneath your forehead. You can rock your forehead left to right, it should feel nice. Otherwise you can reach your hands forward, maybe elbows lifted for a bigger shoulder stretch or you can drop the elbows down. Lots of options here. Wherever you end up, go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Halfway through this 30 days of movement together, I am so proud of you. I'm so honored that you keep showing up with me every day. I love this little project. It is my favorite thing to bring to you, and I hope that you're enjoying it. Take one more big breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. We'll gently look up and then gently, gently, gently come back up to a seat. Amazing job. Halfway through, you are rocking this. I'll see you guys tomorrow.